Hi, Ben. Hi, Sophia. How are you both? Hi, hey. I'm good. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks. And it's so excited to be able to speak to you both today because I had a great time with this movie. And Ben, I wanted to start with you because I know obviously not only are you directing the action, but you're getting into the thick of it as well as Snag. So what was it yeah. like for you to balance that on this project? You know what? Actually, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had on a film set um, because it completely took me out of the whole equation. And the movie became the most important thing, not what I was actually doing. And so everything that I did was all in service to the movie. So it was actually really, really comforting to tell you the truth. I expected the opposite. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And of course, Sophia, you, you also get hands on with some weaponry as Valentina. So what about that did you most enjoy? Everything. I, I think the whole process being on set with Ben, I know that the, the location, I think it was a really, really, really great time. And it was a dream come true. Yeah, and I think it's fair to say your character also has a complicated relationship with her mother. So yeah. how much fun <laughs> was it to delve into that alongside Anne Ortiz? I know, I know. It's really complicated because her mom is a really, really bad person with her. So I think it was... Anna is great. Anna is a really, really great actress. And I, I loved working with her. And I mean, everything is because of Snag. Everything is because she fell in love. <laughs> and, you know, Snag is such a great character, Ben. So I'm curious, were, were there any other characters from film or literature that really inspired what you, this character you created? Or, or was he just someone who just came to you in a different sort of way? It's funny because the idea for this character actually happened came about in 2017 in a conversation on my front porch. And uh, he's very, very much based on a certain place I was at in my life at that current moment. Because um, if you if you don't notice, he no one ever says his name in the movie. He's always slightly separated from everybody else and he kind of keeps everybody at sort of a distance. And I'm not that guy, but... <laughs> but he... he it's kind of very representative of a certain place that I was in. And so this character really, really evolved from that. And then put him in a really dramatic situation. Yeah, well, for sure. It's a great story to follow. And something I appreciated about the film, I'm a big wrestling fan. So seeing CJ Perry show up as the Reaper, very cool to have her play this Terminator-like bad guy. But where did the inspiration come from that for you? I mean... We had to give we had to give all of these guys that were involved in this movie an unstoppable force that they couldn't necessarily get past. And I thought, what better than a badass female that you will never be able to beat? I mean, she's she's so fantastic in this movie and she's perfect for it. Um, and the, I mean, she just nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, <laughs> Sophia, ben, ben mentioned it there. You know, this is a very empowering movie for the female characters. So yeah. what was, was that a big draw for you when you when you, the project came your way? Well, I think, as I said, it was a dream come true. And doing, like, a, a character with, like, being a girl in that world, in that criminal world, is really complicated. But at the same time, Valentina it's not a criminal, you know, it's because she was born there. So the, the the beautiful part and the beautiful thing about Valentina is that she fights against that. She fights against her mother and her whole environment. So it's great. I love Valentina. Valentina loves Nag, and I think it's a beautiful, beautiful love story. Yeah, not to put you on the spot, because I know Ben, obviously, is your director as well as your co-star. But what was it like having him play those two roles? And while, while you're exploring this very personal dynamic between Snag and Valentina. That was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can you can say the real answer now, though. <laughs> no, well, I mean, it's it, it was my first time actually, like, First of all, like my co-partner being my boss. So I was like, oh, like, wait, 
I have to f fall in love with you, but you are my boss. <laughs> so it's like, it was like a strange thing, but I, I think it was great. I think we, we, we did a really, really good chemistry during this, like during the, the, the shoot, sorry. And I mean, you, you're going to see in the movie, Valentina and Snack fell in love in the minute they met. So I think we, we did that. I don't know, Ben, what, what do you think uh, yeah, about our relationship? We were, pretty <laughs> we were pretty convincing. It was a good, it was a, uh, yeah, it was definitely, I mean, I'll speak on it as well, uh, being a director and co-starring it was definitely one of those things where there was multiple hats because ultimately it's you it's it's all a collaboration you know so you it was actually better because I felt like I was in the trenches with her and with uh, with everybody else as well but I was in there we were all together in this thing and then came a moment to kind of step out and see where we're all at from like a bird's eye view but then it was even, I felt like it was more of a camaraderie and more, a lot more trusting between all of us to be able to really just get in there and be on the same level while also keeping this bird's eye view of the movie and trying to steer the shit in the right way, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it comes across great. And something without getting into spoilers, I love at the end of the film, we obviously have this huge gunfight. There are so many moving parts to that. So for you, obviously... You know, you're in front of the camera, but behind it as well. What was the biggest challenge of bringing all these characters together and, and just making that sequence work as, as well as it does? Uh, do you want me to be honest? It was the weather. <laughs> so yeah. we're, doing that, <laughs> we're doing that thing. And outside, I mean, this movie is set in Mexico in the middle of summer, right? We were in New Mexico in the middle of winter. So we're doing this big thing in this house. And outside, in reality, there's a blizzard. So it, it was, and it was like 20 degrees. It was cold, but yeah, that was actually the biggest thing. The rest of it was an app. It was the stuff you dream of doing when you're a kid. Basically that was, this entire movie is full of all of those moments that you've already played out when you were a kid, you know, doing all those things playing like all the games that action figures and all that sort of stuff you make these moments in in your room or in these when you're playing games with your friends and stuff like that so it was really just a just this pure imaginative playground that was so much fun and I didn't consider it like this how are we going to put all of this together because it was the puzzle was this really fun challenge that that made the entire process extremely fun and extremely rewarding. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. And I feel like I have to ask both of you, Snag 2, would you like to make it happen if possible? I mean, oh, of course. <laughs> if, the, if, the, if the audience wants to see it, then... I yeah. always call Ben, Ben, when is going to go out? When chapter two, <laughs> what's gonna happen with chapter two? <laughs> Every single week. Any news about chapter two? Uh, I mean, I won't confirm <laughs> or deny anything, but I'm I may have a script written. Oh well, I'm keeping uh, my fingers crossed in that case because this movie is such a good time, and I loved what both of you did. Ben, you in front and behind the camera, and Sophia thought you some fantastic work as well. So thank you so much. Thank for you taking so the time much today. Thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you so much. It.